Today we do some uh, chip design example. It's an AD converter. Nowadays, uh, AD converter is built into uh, I/O microprocessors, and in that case, you have to design your own AD converter. You cannot just uh, buy AD converter chip and use it in the system. So, the typically you use BIMOS. chip design and uh, in this bio BIMOS you can select the, the analog power supply and detail power supply separately so the the preferred power supply is 12 volt analog and plus 5 this analog too and you have a ground, common ground, and you have plus five digital. And here you have a microcontroller, the RISC or uh, whatever your type of the CPU. And here you have a CMOS logic necessary for AD converter. And the uh, analog circuit uses this range. So it's mixed with the CMOS logic together here. The this digital 5 volt and analog 5 volt, it's we should separate it because digital, if you have a CPU, it's a separate thousand gate switch altogether and cause a noise here. We want quiet, absolutely quiet very small amount of CMOS logic on this plus 5 so the the glitch on the 5 volt is very limited and plus 12 is completely quiet analog power supply so this kind of uh, power design make the AD converter much easier if you say make AD converter with only 5 volt to ground this is going to be challenge. The method of designing has to be different. There are several ways to make an AD converter. And here, we, uh, I introduced the one which is the simple but very accurate and, and uh, simple in a sense that there's not uh, many feedback. The feedback is always a problem. And uh, this AD converter is not commercially available. That uh, this is my own design. I show you most of it, so you can look at and and use it for your own design, chip design. Um, so it's simple and very accurate. And say 12 bits. 12 bits is like about 1,000. Division. So if you have like a 3 volt analog input, this input level is going to be measured down to about uh, about 3 millivolt, right? So the uh, this this is uh, probably limit because uh, when you use differential amplifier, the transistor has to be matching. But there is always a variability here, and probably three to five millivolt is a reliability uh, limit means you know offset when you have a op amp amp op amp design is a five millivolt offset is pretty good okay so when you make ic chip no matter how well you make this transistor geometrically 
there there will be s slight difference, and that's gonna cause slight millivolt difference. So it's getting very difficult. Okay, it's very difficult to have more precision. So. Um, In the input stage, we probably use emitter follower. This is a good idea. And that goes to directly ah, differential amplifier. This goes to ground all the way. And there is an amplification signal coming out from here. Now, this side is going to be uh, multiple. There are 12 set. You divide into this 12, 12 chunk, right? And each division has emitter follower. So this has a 12, 12 of them, OK? And each emitter follower, this is going to be switched by counter. So you have 12 set. And all of them is going to be collector dotted here. So there is a, a CMOS counter has a four bit, and CMOS counter is going to pick one out of twelve. One out of twelve. So only one of them, uh, each one has a different reference voltage, right? 12 different voltage. And 12 different voltage is going to be uh, compared with this input using this differential amplifier. Now, you need to have this and monitor A and B using differential amplifier and multiple stage. So it's become comparator. Okay? So idea is this. The, you have an incoming voltage, say, from 0 to uh, let's divide into 200 millivolt, the times 12, okay? So it's a 20, uh, 200 is uh, 24, 2.4 volt, 2.4 volt. So this is going to be Dividing into 10, so 200 millivolt each. And each, it's divided by re register, right? Identical register. And each one will have a, a differential amplification with incoming. And each current is selected only one of them selected by the counter. So only one of them is on. And this voltage is very small voltage is amplified to determine whether incoming voltage is higher than this reference voltage. Say you select this one, 
you, you, you counter keep going and you select one of them one two three four twelve of them once this polarity switch this is a, a polarity detection then you stop the counter so what happens is you will get say incoming signal is slightly slightly over one volt one point one volt then here w one volt the actually you go from top and it's reached the one volt suddenly the reference voltage become lower than the in incoming voltage so the polarity switch and the st counter stop here so counter shows how many step you go through to find the voltage the above one volt okay and this output is going to be amplified by PNP transistor amplification uh, to the 5 volt by 10 times so this is going to be the new uh, input so say if you have like a, uh, 100 millivolt difference here then it's going to be 1.1 volt and 1.1 volt is compared with another 12 division of 200 millivolt within okay so it's gonna be this is the reference voltage is 0 to 2 volt and this is this two volt is divided by uh, divided by the quantity 200 millivolts so the another counter another 4 bit counter is going to search through which reference voltage become lower than this the same circuit diagram using the same circuit so you have a repeated 4 bit and the 4 bit and the last fine 4 bit total 12 bit answer by searching it so this this is a search counter the 4 bit counter uh, 4 bit by 3 uh, counter search you search exact voltage which is closest to the reference voltage and the reference voltage is going to be each stage the first 200 millivolt division and next stage is actually 20 millivolt division but it's amplified by 10 and next one is 2 millivolt okay so the error may happen at the boundary of 200 millivolt and boundary of 20 millivolt and 2 millivolt below 2 millivolt is pretty um, difficult to do but for the range of uh, say uh, 200 millivolt times 12 2.4 volt this range 2.4 volt is going to be translated to 12 bit uh, digital data so any incoming signal between this 
Well, of course, incoming signal could be your monitoring a battery. The battery is 24 volt. Then you have to divide this by resistor divider, resistor divider, and feed it as an input to this 2.4 volt AD converter and the measure. So you know exact the CPU can calculate the value given here, 12 bit value uh, times whatever this divider. So R2, R1 plus R2 is going to be this monitoring voltage. Okay, so this method is uh, very straightforward and taking advantage of this environment 12 volt analog 5 volt and the ground very simple so circuit is simple and you have only uh, 4 bit counter times 3 of them in sequence to search the proper uh, voltage and this search time search time can be very fast so any analog analog signal you can detect this voltage here within some microsecond say 300 microsecond next 300 microsecond you can detect this you can detect this you can detect this so and so and the circuit is simple enough so you can modify to have a function like find highest voltage from the incoming analog signal and that can be done by freezing the counter at the maximum volume uh, value okay so input voltage change then the counter doesn't change unless input voltage goes up and the counter proceed only forward the counter make it only for the counter so you can detect only the highest value and it goes down the counter doesn't decrease until you res reset the counter so all kinds of additional function can be implemented whatever you need for your AD convert application okay so this is guideline this is a, a rough cut of the AD converter design there are several different way to do it but the I myself use this because uh, I could select my preferred environment, the, make it design easier. Ground to 5 to 12. So this is the analog side. And digital side is, if you have this kind of uh, power uh, requirement, if you can enforce this kind of power requirement, then chip design become much cheaper. It's uh, really analog design is if you say design analog design within 5 volt to 0, it's a lot of struggle. The power, power supply is going to make a big difference in analog design. Because when you do PNP, transistor amplification, You need to have a certain, if this is up to 2 volt, you need to have certain range here between VCC and ground, ground level. So having 12 volt, you feel very comfortable designing the analog circuit and together with the CMOS logic for AD converter within a CP chip 
And nowadays, CPU chip includes many things, like not only AD converter, the even uh, some communication. Uh, yeah, UART is easy. Um, can communication, all kind of, this is the, the aut automobile, EVs, the communication network protocol. Uh, there are some other protocol. Those protocol uh, can be designed in BIMOS because protocols sometimes require plus 12, minus 12. Um, the UART signal is uh, actually require plus 5, minus 5 minimum voltage. Um, the CAN also requires some negative voltage. So it's it's combination of analog and digital and trend is to put them all in single chip that's a trend right now so the sometimes you have to design analog circuit inside the cpu chip the how to design cpu chip we will uh, talk about that a lot uh, later on in the digital uh, circuit design but the uh, Right now, the analog, this is a typical analog. And also, um, nowadays, very popular design, the uh, battery management system, which we're going to talk about it in the next video. Uh, battery management system itself is a single chip IC, usually. But it's combined with CPU. It can do a lot of more intelligent things. The battery management system uh, is becoming more important these days and since the battery all kind of different battery is coming up like sodium battery and solid state battery and stuff the management uh, parameters and the method is different it's a CPU need to manage those but the CPU cannot do it alone need some analog circuit together so trend is to integrate the analog and the CPU together into the single chip. Okay, so if you like this uh, video, please subscribe. And next one, we talk about battery management system.